G'day covers, welcome back to the bush. Actually, my backyard again today in self-isolation. Well, that's all right, because today we're gonna to check out whether we can improve the on-battery performance of your Travel Buddy 12 volt oven, or it might be a road chef or kick-ass using cheap step-up converters from eBay. So, let's get into it. So why would we wanna run a step-up converter in the first place? Because the performance of these 12 volt ovens, regardless of whether it's the Travel Buddy like this one, the Road Chef or the Kick-Ass really suffers on battery. Your car needs to be driving in order to get decent performance out of these things. Now, if you want to know more about that, click the link above. So I've chosen two, and this one being a 13.8 volt, and this one being a 15 volt. That's around about charging voltage in a car. So let's hook them up to the battery, which is a fully charged 105 amp hour AGM full river, and see if they actually do anything. Okay, so let's check out how these step-up converters work. Firstly, I've got a power hub here and that's got a 105 amp hour AGM full river battery in there. So nothing great, but decent battery. So we'll check the voltage on there. And we're coming up with about 13.3 volts. So we'll plug in the 13.8 volt converter first. Make sure the in goes to the in. And we'll check the voltage output there. And we've got about 14.1 volts, or a little bit over 14.1 volts, but that'll drag down a little bit when we uh, draw a bit of current from it. So now we'll check out the 15 volt converter. And again, that's coming in slightly over at 15.32 volts. But again, that'll drag down a little bit when we're dragging a bit of current out of it. So they do definitely step up the voltage and keep it consistent when the battery is draining. Another thing to take into consideration is these step up converters aren't 100% efficient. So the power you put in is more than the power you'll get out. So we'll plug them in and we'll check out the current draw using the amperage gauge on my power hub to see exactly how much current they're drawing. Now, when we're drawing just on battery, as you can see, it's 9.4 amp. Now, when we step it up to 13.8 volts, we've got a substantial increase in current, and it's now 11.6. But when we plug in the 15 volter, now, this is the same load coming from the oven. It's actually using 13.6 amps. So we're using a substantial amount more current. And that could be an issue down the road. But wait, check out the end of the video and all isn't necessarily as it seems. So stick around for that. First up, let's have a look at preheating because you need to preheat your oven before you drop your pies in. And I've dragged out my trusty temperature data logger and each test, I've fully charged my power hub in between testing for consistent and accurate results. So let's have a look at the graph on that one. So let's have a look at the performance. Now, the blue line is on battery performance without a step-up converter, and that took 80 minutes to get up to 180 degrees. And that's plain old unacceptable. But let's have a look at our driving performance. That's our orange line. The 13.8 volt regulated step-up converter is almost identical. And the preheat times are identical as well. It cut it down to 48 minutes. But if we want more performance, have a look at the 15 volt regulator step up converter time that's 36 minutes so that, that's even better now i'm not sure how well your components inside the travel buddy or kick ass or road chef or whatever it is will cope with 15 volts but you, you certainly get better performance here so your step up converters do actually work now it substantially decreased the preheat times when we're running just on battery the 13.8 volt almost identical performance to driving performance and we got additional performance running our 15 volt step up converter. Now another consideration might be the heat generated by the step up converter. So when the travel buddy is running at full flight, these aren't 100% efficient and the excess energy has to go somewhere. In this case, most of it will go to heat. So we'll have a look at the FLIR camera when the travel buddy is running at full flight and we'll see how hot these suckers get. Now, this is the 13.8 volt step up converter. As you can see, it's less than 
30 degrees Celsius, so that's fine. So let's plug in the 15 volt converter. 15 volt converter is also less than 30 degrees Celsius, so again, it's fine. So the heat of the unit itself isn't an issue, but these are full of solid state electronics potted in what looks to be resin or silicon. It's not gonna do well if you bolt it to the back of the oven. The oven generates a lot of heat and solid state electronics don't like a lot of heat. So either remotely mount it or mount it to your travel body by all means, but put some heat insulation between the two and a bit of an air gap so you can make sure these things have a long, happy life. But as they say, the proof is in the pudding, or in this case, the four and 20 pies. So let's get some pies and check out the performance. So I've grabbed my testing yardstick and that is a four pack of frozen four and 20 pies. And I've done the testing. Now, each time I've started again with a fully charged power hub using an AGM battery and we've preheated and thrown in the pies and these are the results. You can see the on battery performance is pretty disappointing. It, it's not great. But driving performance is our yardstick. Now, when we put on the 13.8 volt regulated power supply, it almost, again, was identical in performance to the driving performance. So if you want to emulate the driving performance, stick with the 13.8. And as you can see, the 15 volt regulator, well, that's leaps and bounds ahead of both of them. And it actually got to the temperature where it turned off and turned back on because it reached the maximum temperature of the ovens. So we can definitely increase our cooking performance using the frozen four pie test with a step up converter. Now there are different battery chemistries to take into consideration. And the two main ones of course are lead acid or AGM, which is a variation of lead acid or lithium. Now, when you're discharging a plain old lead acid battery, the voltage drops off substantially, which a step up converter will fix. Lithium is a lot better in that regard. So as it decreases in capacity, the voltage doesn't drop off nearly as much. So you'll get better performance in a travel buddy type oven using a lithium battery, but you won't get driving performance. And your step up converter will fix that. So even if you have a lithium battery, you will get better performance using a step up converter. And another consideration is the amount of charge you're taking from the battery. Now these things aren't 100% efficient as we've shown with the heat generated, but how much extra capacity is it taking from your battery? And that's known as amp hours. How many amp hours? Now it's gonna change with how much cooking you're doing, but for preheat, it's gonna be consistent. So let's have a look at the graph for that. So let's have a look at the preheat battery usage graph. So when we're driving, the engine's running, the alternator's charging up your battery, so it's not really applicable. But when we're just on battery without the engine running, without a step-up converter, it was using 120 watts. So it was the most efficient of the three, but over the longest period of time, 80 minutes. So it's over 12 amp hours of battery usage. And when we went for the 13.8 volt step-up converter, more current, more wattage, 145 watts, but only for 48 minutes. So we were using around about 10 amp hours of the battery capacity. And finally, at 15 volts, we were using 171 watts of power, but only for 36 minutes for the preheat. So it was using a little bit over eight amp hours of our battery capacity. So why were we using substantially more power with the step-up converters? We are using it for a lot shorter period of time, and that actually saved us battery capacity usage on their preheat. So 15 volts uses a lot less of our battery capacity than just running it on battery, even though these things aren't 100% efficient. So what do we think in the end? Well, this is without a shadow of a doubt that your step up converter increases the performance of your 12 volt oven. But not only that, it saves your battery capacity. It's a no brainer in my book. 13.8 versus 15 volt, well, I can't speak to the long-term durability of your 12 volt oven, whether it be the Road Chef Kick-Ass or the Travel Buddy on 15 volts. But 13.8 volt, well, that should be fine. I mean, my little car charges in excess of that, just over 14 volts. So there shouldn't be an issue running it on 
a regulated 13.8 volt power supply. It's a no-brainer performance and you're saving battery capacity. Now guys, if you like this video, give it the old thumbs up. And if you didn't, by all means, give it a thumbs down twice. Thanks guys, we'll see you in the next one. G'day Cobbers, welcome back to the bush. In, actually, G'day Cobbers, welcome back to the bush. Actually, my backyard again today in isolation. Well, in this video, we're going to check out the Travel Buddy and using cheap step up converters from eBay to see if we can poo poo. You can see if we can poo poo. G'day Cobbers, welcome back to the bush.